Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Business Central Musings. Today's lesson uh, in episode 18 is about handle errors by using application language in Dynamics 365 Business Central. The two topics uh, we're going to go over today with a, a simple uh, demo is um, handle errors by using try methods and we're going to learn about collect errors. So let's get going. So let's have a look at my notes here about uh, try functions and collectible, collectible errors. Um, about try functions, um, if um, le let's look at when when we're going to use when, where, when would be useful uh, in Business Central for scenarios such as data validation and our demo is going to be about data validation uh, or when your code does exer external service calls uh, and you know you can include here maybe installing an app uh, via code or um, an app from app source or um, <clears throat> getting a token uh, or um, in the context of security uh, groups uh, may be communicating with the entra um, to retrieve the members of a group. Uh, that's an external service. Uh, wrap that function call with uh, the attribute try function because the way we designate a function, a try function, uh, is by decorating the function with the attribute try function, one word. And we're going to see in our example. If, uh, if we designate a function as a try function, even though it doesn't have a return um, value, um, a try function will always return either true or false. It will return true if there is no error um, raised in in the context of that function, or it will it would return false if there was an error raised in uh, while executing that function. And uh, the second concept for today is um, collectible errors. So imagine um, a good example would be that a stage record, some data received from another party uh, via API, and you need to process that data. Uh, a first thing you would do before you're starting processing it is you want to make sure that the data satisfies some validation crit criteria. And um, you can uh, create a function to validate the data and you can decorate that function um, with uh, error behavior collectible. You're doing all sorts of validations and the moment a validation fails, you create an error. But this error has to have one property, like collectible is true. So we want that error and not really an error, but a special data type, error info, uh, decorated with um, the property collectible is true. So it's a special type of error, uh, of error info, it's collectible. So what's happening is you're validating in your function, you're, you're going through all the uh, validation criteria. As you discover things that are not right, you're creating an error info record and uh, you keep creating error info records. Uh, the behavior of the program, it's the, the program is not gonna be interrupted. It will just keep going because um, you're not displaying an error. You're, you keep accumulating errors. Uh, and at the end, um, there are functions, system functions like get collected errors. W with get collected errors, uh, after your uh, function has run, um, you check the to see if you have any collected errors, and that's one of the functions you can use to get collected errors. And if you do have, then you can uh, you can parse them. You can go through all the uh, the accumulated errors, the collected errors, and you can display them one by one in specialized pages or uh, reports. We're gonna see how. Um, one way to do it, and I ins got inspired from um, from the Microsoft Learn on how to do it. So let's move on next to VS Code. 
Join our community of learners today. Let's navigate through Business Central together and ace that MBA 20 exam. Subscribe now. Just open up YouTube and in the search type Business Central Musings. And here it is. This is my channel. All you have to do is click subscribe page um, and try, try function demo page. And uh, this is the, the, the area content is not that important. But the th thing is, we have a few actions and each one of these actions will call the same function. Try get data with error collect and we'll have two parameters. One is for customer number and one is for vendor number. Basically, what I'm trying to do here is I want to make sure that there is a customer uh, and uh, I'm validating if the customer and vendor exist in the system. So, for example, let, let's go to the function. Um, what's happening in this function? Argument one is going to be the customer number. Argument two is going to be the vendor number. What we do, we uh, what I have here, I have a code unit try function example. And in this try function example, we have a function uh, that is a try function, uh, get master data. If you remember the try function, and you see it here, um, the, the attribute try function, what it does, it will return always true or false. If we have errors, we're gonna, it's gonna return false. If we don't have errors, it's gonna return true. And what we do in this function, we also see we have the collect behavior, error behavior collect. So um, uh, that's also uh, in, uh, good to, un, to, to notice. Um, and we have two functions, try get vendor, try, vendor, try get vendor and try get customer. Um, customer and vendor are two parameters, uh, the two parameters that we pass from the page. And uh, what it what we do in this try get customer and try get vendor, we're trying to get the customer record. And if we are successful, nothing happens. But if we're not successful, we're creating uh, an error info record. Um, you see, fail to retrieve customer. The second parameter of the create function is collectible boolean so we're we're with this parameter here we are designating this error as collectible uh, similarly we do f um, if we're not able to find the vendor based on the parameter passed we're also creating an error info with the error info create uh, we also designate it uh, collectible and those two functions if they fail will have an error info each one an error info uh, to error info. Um, has collected errors is a function, a system function that um, uh, returns true or false, and it will tell us if we have any er error info. So if we've got any, if we accumulate, if we have any collected errors, and we do, if the parameters are not correct, um, we will have exit we're going to exit here with false for our try function so um, um, that's uh, that's how we deal with the fact that this is a try function and nothing no errors will be um, uh, the system will keep processing because this is a try function and try function we know um, uh, it will um, it won't interrupt the process. Uh, the other two functions role was to collect errors if if that's the case. And and then we go back to the function on the page. And if we had the errors, then we're creating uh, a record, a temporary record of type error message. And um, we will um, the message is the last error text, which was uh, error in try get master data. Uh, if we had an error, if our try function uh, failed. Um, and 
regardless if it failed of or not, if we have collected the errors, then we go through all the collected errors and we create another uh, temporary record for for each collected errors. We're going to create uh, a record of type error message um, and um, in, in this temporary buffer. Then we clear all the collected errors. And if we've got errors, then we're going to display a page error messages with all the errors that we uh, accumulated by um, by inquiring our uh, try function if if it uh, ended successfully or uh, in error, uh, and by um, going through all the collected errors. So if we have customers and vendor um, validation and they both are failed, um, then we're going to have a list of three errors. One because the try function, which is the get master data, failed and one for customer and one for a vendor. If there is no error, we're going to receive um, just a message that no error has been encountered. In the actions, uh, th the same function is called four times. AAA, BBB, there is no customer and vendor AAA and BBB. Uh, then customer 10,000, yeah, we are in Kronos database and 10,000 exists. Um, we also have the vendor 10,000, so uh, the, the vendor side is going to be successful, but the customer side, the uh, customer validation is going to fail. And then we have both 10,000 and 10,000 for customer and vendor. So let's see how this looks like. Um, in in business central and yeah that's that's the page uh try function demo let's see the first one was a a b b b and we get error in try get master data that's because the try function failed uh then we have the customer a and the b b b um two uh, two more errors uh let's try example two uh, only the vendor failed, and but the try function encountered an error, so uh, we were uh, also um, recording that try function error. Uh, try get master data failed because customer is a and does not exist. And the last one with both customer and vendor existing, we get just the message window saying that um, we didn't encounter any errors. So that's um, that's what I wanted to cover today, the try function and the collectible errors. And we have seen a demo uh, with both um, uh, methods of uh, error handling um, in the same project. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.